Hi, thanks for watching. Um, I am going to show off my 2007 Honda CBR600RR, uh, which I just refurbished. Um, this bike is for sale. Uh, we got LED turn signals. We got braided brake lines, shorty levers. We've got heated grips. This is the on and off switch for your heated grips. Nice feature on those cool mornings. Everybody gets cold, gets their fingers cold sometimes when they're riding. It's nice to be able to turn on heated grips. We've got a accessory jack for a radar detector and look how clean the fluid is. Whenever you're buying a bike, look for clean fluid. Here is a fix uh, that I found on the interwebs. Um, apparently there's a problem with the shifter spindle so um, I just built a little block to make sure that that shifter spindle never gets beat into the other side of the uh, clutch. Um, we've got new chain and sprockets. This is not the sprocket that will be on the bike when it sells. I will have a 41 tooth sprocket on the rear. It will be brand new and it will be black. The foot pegs will come with it. I think the bike looks better without the foot pegs. This is a brand new seat. We have um, LED ter turn signals in the rear. We have integrated uh, brake light turn signal. Um, it does have a Two Brothers carbon fiber can on it. Um, there is a passenger seat. Again, passenger seat and passenger foot pegs will be included with the bike, though I don't have it on now. It has braided galfer lines on the front and rear. New foot pegs both sides. New brake pedal on this side. The wheels were black. They're now a charcoal gray. This clutch cover, I did have it off. Uh, you can see on the scrapes that it's been down. Somebody did a pretty good job of repairing it. Um, the shifter spindle, like I said, was shoved through into the clutch. So I did have to pull the uh, clutch. The clutch discs look great. Um, the plates that hold the shifter spindle in place have been replaced. So that will never happen again. Shorty levers on this side. LED turn signal. Galfer braided lines. The forks have been rebuilt. They do have new fluid. There are um, HH centered pads on the bike. Um, brand new tires. Plenty of chicken strips left on the tires. This bike looks amazing compared to what it looked like when I received it. It was white with a stretch swing arm and it was uh, a pretty funny looking machine. Now it looks like a machine that's ready to do battle in the mountains. Um, it rides great, it runs great, it looks great. Uh, it's just a be all around beautiful bike. Whoever ends up getting this bike is going to be extremely happy riding this thing around. Um, I am 5'10", 190 pounds. I look like a massive gorilla and I feel like a giant sitting on top of this bike. It does have a Vortex lowering kit. Um, it has the Vortex, um, yeah, whatever they're called, the little Vortex um, triangle and the Vortex dog bone to uh, the, the links to lower it two inches. And the forks are dropped two inches in the triple tree. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty massive on this bike right now.
bridge stones make the bike just a powerhouse going through the twisties. Uh, I would love to see this bike go to a girl who's getting into riding. It would be a really good beginner's bike. Uh, really, any, anyone who's uh, a little bit shorter than normal, maybe five, six and below, would be extremely comfortable riding this bike. I can imagine nothing but smiles on the helmet. This bike just, it's great. It was rock solid when I bought it. It was just really ugly. It was a hideous looking bike. I gave it about a month's worth of love. And this is the bike that I ended up with. I have the bike uh, listed for sale in a couple different places. that so everything works properly on this bike come take a look at it thanks for watching the video